Tre volte io ci ho provato a farlo, però giuro. Sto posto qua è carino, però non ci sono. Yo, what these people do with this camera? Man, we have to do going places video. Oh. Welcome back to Going Places, I'm Mirko. No. Come on man, welcome back in Going Places. Mirko and Federico here, we are in Amber Street today. We are going to interview Ricky, the head chef of La Farola. This place is really good guys. We're gonna have an interview. We're gonna have Ricky showing us how to make his favorite dish. And we're gonna have a review of this place. So let's see how it's inside. What he makes La Farola different of other regular tapas restaurant is uh, I cook fresh. Uh, we do everything in, in the house. Um, seasonality, uh, passion by me, by my chefs, by a great team I have behind me cooking. And I think uh, if you come to La Farola, you're gonna have a great meal, uh, lots of fun. Uh, great cocktails, a good wine list. Uh, I mean, it's a whole good experience, I think. One calamare sauce on the side. Patata frita burrata. My name is uh, Ricard Pimentel. I'm the head chef here at La Farola on Upper Street, Islington. Tapas, um, for me, is the, the, best, the best way to eat. Tapas is about sharing, tapas is about being with your friends, with your family, uh, having a lot of uh, little experience on the table to talk about, to enjoy great flavors. You can go from vegetables to fish to meat, uh, charcuterie, um, and finish with great desserts. Simple, but very tasty. I decide by the season, basically they kind of guide me when to change the menu, how to change the menu with the seasonality, uh, always I'm looking to for the best ingredients on the best time of the year, um, yes, basically. When I decide really I, I want to be a chef and I want to do a career, it was when I, when I decide to come to London because um, it's a great place to be. Um, this is a world of food, uh, restaurants, uh, yeah, so basically almost like 10 years ago. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, I'm not gonna say it's, I never th thought about leaving because I have family, I have a wife, I have daughters, and, uh, and being a chef, it takes a lot of our time and uh, hard work, and you go home, sometimes you have no day off, and when you go home, you're tired, sometimes uh, you don't have time for your family, what is, it shouldn't happen, really. So a, a lot of times I think I, I should do something different, but then it comes like, I will be happy? No. So. I'm really passionate about my cooking. I cook from the heart and everything I do, uh, every day I wake up in the morning and I'm happy to go and behind the stove and cook, basically. You know what I mean, yeah? I know what does it mean. At the moment, uh, I mean, I will say maybe the burrata at the moment, uh, just because it's, it's so simple, but it's so different as well. And the flavors, uh, I don't know, I, I need to show you to, I will, I will show you to explain because I have no words to, 
to explain why is my favorite because it, maybe you will see you tell uh, is burrata why is burrata is your favorite it's just the simplicity of the plate and the great flavors matching together so it's hard to put in words why is my favorite so i will invite you guys to come with me to the kitchen Welcome back to Good Places. I'm so happy today because I'm with my friend Ricky. We are in Rafarola in Upper Street and today we did a really nice interview to him. He's going to tell us about burrata, which is an Italian cheese. But I just want him to tell you about it because I'm sure he's going to tell you better than me. Yeah. Uh, hi guys. Um, welcome to my kitchen. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, I choose uh, like I told earlier, I choose the burrata for because of the simplicity of this dish. Uh, is is an amazing um, uh, cheese, and um, I will go start prepping my watermelon. So what I do, uh, as you guys is gonna you're gonna see, I will prep my watermelon to go on the grill. And the why I choose that dish because. I had a lot of my customers recently saying I never saw watermelon on the grill. And the reason why I do this watermelon on the grill is just because uh, when this fruit he goes to the grill, it burns, um, it caramelizes the sugars and intensifies the, the flavor of. Um, of the watermelon and I think it works perfectly well uh, with the fresh burrata. So do you get burrata like fresh every day? Yes, Your normally, yeah, day? yeah, it, it comes straightly from um, from Italy and uh, my supplier brings me every two days. Um, yeah, and uh, it's as uh, fresh as you can get in London, I guess. So I got a question, Ricky. Yeah. Like, which is your standard? How, like, from where you have the idea, like, how to plate, like, what to put first, how to make the dish looks great? Uh, I mean, uh, like I said to my chefs all the time, for me, um, I don't mind, I show everyone in my kitchen how I like to present my dishes. For me, I don't mind my chefs to put their own touch on the dishes, okay. but it needs to be the ingredients I chosen for that plate. So what I, what I want, um, the normally the way I do things, as you're gonna see, okay. For me, it needs to be layers of flavor. Everything goes to uh, a plate for the reason. You're never gonna see me a plating a dish and put all the dressings, olive oils, balsamics, whatever, all over. Okay. So what I done with my burrata. Um, I get my watermelon um, on the plate. You're grilling just one side of it. Hopefully. Yes, one side of it. Uh, I don't. I don't want. Or? Yes, I don't want. Um, I don't want my. Sorry, guys. I don't want my watermelon to be mushy. Yeah, I have my my watermelon. Uh, my watermelon uh, is on the plate, and what I do, um, I use uh, balsamic vinegar. I will dress my watermelon. And the reason why I just grill my watermelon one side and no both sides, I don't want my watermelon to be mushy and cook through. I want uh, to have that uh, sugars caramelized, but I want still to get like a firm consistency of the fruit. Yeah. So I have my watermelon, my balsamic, I get my burrata, and I place, place on the top. And now from that, we start. We're gonna finish it. So, mild and salt, a good, good, good amount of seasoning on the cheese. That's a really good amount, guys. And roast sunflower seeds, another good amount of it on the plate. And then I will finish it with some. Um, with some uh, mint tops. The reason why uh, I choose the mint tops is the the tender part, the leaves. Let's say the baby leaves from the mint. What is I believe is strong, 
um, and easy, and he brings a, a great flavor to the dish. And obvious, I need to finish my dish because we are a Spanish restaurant with arbequina olivo, another good amount. That's it. And what's that? Sumac. Sumac is going to give you like a citrus, lemony um, flavor to the dish. And it's really, really go. good for your heart as well, Sumac. Yes, I believe so. Uh, and here we go. You have uh, Simple, my burrata. Beautiful. Real uh, watermelon, mint, sunflower seeds, sumac, and mint tops. Thank you guys.